EFCC moves to arrest Adele Oak, wife over in 13 BNI Koi Tower Cash. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, is making moves to secure a bench warrant against the SAC Director General of the National Intelligence Agency, NIA, Ambassador Adele Oak, and his wife, Folishaid. This is because counsel to the EFCC, Rotimi Oidipo informed Justice Chuck Wujkwunek of a federal high court sitting in Nikoi, Lagos on Wednesday that he had the intention of making an oral application seeking the issuance of bench warrant against the SAC NIA DG and his wife. During the day's proceedings, Justice Anek had stated that he had not yet seen the case file. But the registrar of the court was quick to inform the judge that the case file was already before the court. This prompted Justice Anek to declare that he needed to go through the case file before entertaining any application. The judge then adjourned the case to Thursday, February 7, 2019 for EFCC to move its oral application seeking bench warrant against Toke and his wife. It would be recalled that at the last sitting on the matter, Oidipo had urged Justice Anek to reschedule the planned arraignment of the sacked DG of Nye and his wife. This was because of the failure of the anti-graft agency to produce the duo before the court. The EFCC had instituted a four-count charge against Toke and Folishade. EFCC had intended to arraign the defendants before the judge in connection with the sums of $43,449,947, £27,800 and N23,218,000, totaling in 13 BN, removed by the EFCC from Flat 7B Osborne Towers, Ikoyi, Lagos linked to them. The charge against Toke and Folershade, reads. That you, Ambassador Adele Oak, Mrs. Fola saw Adele Oak on or about the 12th day of April 2017 in Lagos concealed the sum of $43.449,947,000 property of the federal government of Nigeria in Flat 7B, no. 16 Osborne Road, Osborne Towers, Ikoyi Lagos which some you reasonably ought to have known formed part of proceeds of an unlawful act to wit, criminal breach of trust and you thereby committed an offence contrary to Section 15, 2, A, of the Money Laundering, Prohibition, Amendment, Act 2012 and punishable under Section 15 3 of the same Act. Adele Oak and Mrs. Fola saw Adele Oak between 25th day of August 2015 and 2nd day of September 2015 in Lagos, within the jurisdiction of this court indirectly used the sum of $1.658,000 property of the federal government of Nigeria to acquire flat 7B, no. Sixteen Osborne Road, Osborne Towers, Ikoyi Lagos which some you reasonably ought to have known formed part of proceeds of an unlawful act to wit, criminal breach of trust and you thereby committed an offence contrary to Section 15, 2, D, of the Money Laundering, Prohibition, Amendment, Act 2012 and punishable under Section 15 3 of the same Act. Adele Oak and Mrs. Fola saw Adele Oak between 25th day of August 2015 and 2nd day of September 2015 in Lagos, within the jurisdiction of this court directly retained $160.777,136. The five property of the federal government of Nigeria which some you reasonably ought to have known formed part of proceeds of an unlawful act to wit, criminal breach of trust and you thereby committed an offence contrary to Section 15, 2, d, of the Money Laundering, Prohibition, Amendment, 
Act 2012 and punishable under Section 15.3 of the same Act. Adele Oak and Mrs. Fuller saw Adele Oak between 25th day of August 2015 and 2nd day of September 2015 in Lagos, within the jurisdiction of this court directly converted $160, $777, 136 85 property of the federal government of Nigeria to your own use which some you reasonably ought to have known formed part of proceeds of an unlawful act to wit, criminal breach of trust and you thereby committed an offense contrary to section 15, 2, d, of the money laundering, prohibition, amendment, act 2012 and punishable under section 15, 3 of the same act.